Good morning and welcome back to Homes and Cooking. Um, I haven't done a video in a while. I've been a little multitasking and the creativity goes to the wayside, but we're back. And a while ago I did a video um, a little bit about the new buyer broker form and that everybody didn't understand and <laughs> neither did the clients. But it's it's really, I'm going to break it down to where it's not really scary or strange sounding and a little bit of what the alternatives are to do it this way or that way. And it all started because I had a phone call from a really nice doctor. I, I love working with doctors. They work with timelines. They just want to know what am I signing? What does it mean? And am I going to jail? I'm kidding. But they're very specific and I totally understood his frustrations. Um, he said to me, I would like to look at um, some houses in the area where yours was. I like the area. I've driven it. I'm not sure if there's anything for sale. Um, and I said, I'm happy, happy to help you. And he said, but I do want to bring something up. He said, I called on a house a while ago, right after this form came into effect. And the agent was very nice. And he said, I'm happy to show it to you. Do you know about the new buyer broker agreement? The doctor said, oh, not really. <laughs> I, um, I fix people's needs, I, I don't know. And so he said, um, well, um, if a seller doesn't wanna pay a professional fee, which is why I call it a professional fee, uh, for me to represent them, then you would be, um, the person that would pay me for my services. Uh, and the doctor said, well, what, how much would this be? And he said, well, this house is uh, pricey, so the commission, I'm making this up, I don't know what house it was. The commission would be like $50,000. Now the doctor was like, uh, buddy, I don't know you. I don't, I don't even know your name. Who was it again? John, Sam, don't know you. Uh, I just wanna see the house. I don't want to pay you $50,000 to see the house. Obviously that doesn't work that way. You have to make an offer. And then at that point you put in the commission and blah, blah, blah. But he was, he just sort of, you know, uh, he buried the lead and he just came out and said, by the way, if you like the house and you want to write an offer, you have to, you know, write, if they're not paying, you have to pay me. And it's going to be, my fee is X percent, which will come out to about, 40,000, 50,000, whatever. All I know is that the doctor said at that point, I was like, I don't think so. I don't even wanna see this house. I don't understand any of this. So he said, I'll let you know and I'll call you back. You know, he never called the guy back. So I said to him, this is all really very simple. Um, the very, 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 very most important thing is obviously you're very qualified and that you have all your ducks in a row meaning all the paperwork, everything you need for a lender. If it's cash, all you need is proof of funds. Um, that is really important. Then you tell me, um, if you know of some houses that you wanna see, I will find some after listening to your criteria of what we should see. And um, at that point, we decide if you want to just have me represent you, for showing these houses. We write down on this form all the houses we're gonna see, and then you, I can represent you for three days. I can represent you for a week. You don't know me either. If you were referred to me by a family member or a colleague, um, that would be a different conversation because you might say, okay, let's do it for six months. You don't know me. So let's do it for three days or for just these houses that we are seeing. And then we can get to know each other. Uh, the best thing would be to meet at the office beforehand, but doctors have timelines. So we can just meet at the house. I'll represent you for a week. And then we will go from there. If you like one of the houses, um, by then I will have called the agents to see if a professional fee is being paid. And if not, then that house, if you love it and you don't want to pay me a buyer's agent fee, because once again, you still don't know me. You can look me up online, but you don't really know me. Um, then you're, you're 
your three-day contract is over and you can go to the listing agent. But understand as a buyer, the listing agent will also want to get paid. You also don't know them and <laughs> whatever fee they tell you that they want is, you know, that's negotiable, but then it's another negotiation for a buyer that doesn't know the second agent by now. So it really does make sense to find an agent that you can have some sort of rapport with that you want to work with. I mean, he and I talked on the phone for almost an hour and I just educated him on all this. And he actually went on vacation and we're going to meet when he comes back because it doesn't have to be this scary. Obviously, no one works for free, but it can be 1%, 2%, 3%. You're never going to see much at 3%. I haven't written a 3% listing in probably two years, 2.5%. And whatever you negotiate to get paid or that seller already has a set fee that he's paying, which is what's happening still, um, then it's good to go. So it can be done in many ways. It's not scary. It's It doesn't box anybody in. Just have the right person that can explain it to you that way. So I'm happy to help. Gloria Gillette, Cobalt Banker Del Mar, uh, ggillette at cox.net. Um, my phone number is online everywhere. And I was so excited when this guy called me and said he found me on YouTube. I felt like, whoa, I'm a superstar. Um, I'm kidding, but uh, it was great. And um, I have met a really nice man and it could help him understand something that is not that scary. It's just another path to one of the best adventures in a person's life, which is buying that home that they love. So thank you so much. We'll talk soon and I'm gonna go over here. Oh, and happy Halloween. Wish I had a costume. I had ears. Okay, here's ears. Um, have a wonderful trick or treat and talk soon.